Welcome back to another section of the Arkansas Overland Route. This is section 15 and 16 of the Trailhawk Loop. We will end up in the Felsenthal National Wildlife Refuge. Established in 1975, Felsenthal National Wildlife Refuge is located in southeast Arkansas approximately eight miles west of the town of Crossit. Named for a small community located at its southwest corner, the 76,000 acre refuge contains an abundance of water resources dominated by the Washita and Saline rivers and the Felsenthal Pool. The National Wildlife Refuge can offer a view of some of the most pristine and remote landscapes across the country. When visiting these wild places, please prepare yourself accordingly. Adequate clothing and supplies are essential. Water levels within the Philistine National Wildlife Refuge can be a deciding factor when planning your trip. Make sure the water is safe and any activities by checking the National Weather Service's website or contact the refuge. The Felsenthal National Wildlife Refuge phone number is 870-364-3167. Hours of operation are 7 to 3.30, Monday through Friday. The refuge is dissected by an intricate system of rivers, creeks, swamps, and lakes, while also supporting a wide diversity of native wildlife and plants. The Felsenthal National Wildlife Refuge, located in the south central Arkansas in Ashley, Bradley, and Union Counties, is the world's largest green tree reservoir. The Felsenthal National Wildlife Refuge is a wetlands complex near Lake Jack Lee, which is located on the confluence of the Saline and Washita Rivers. It's made up of various streams, creeks, lakes, and sloughs. In addition to the wetland lowlands, the refuge has areas of pine and upland hardwood wood forest. The refuge is home to migratory and resident waterfowl, as well as marsh and water birds. The park is also home to a large population of red cockaded woodpeckers and is a habitat of the bald eagle and an American alligator. The refuge also contains over 200 Native American archaeological sites, primarily from the Caddo tribe that lived in the area as long as 5,000 years ago. These sites include the remains of seasonal fishing camps, ceremonial plazas, temple mounds, and large villages containing as many as 200 structures. We will end up at Eagle Lake where we have a picnic and check out the area. There is a campground, dispersed campground in this area, a boat ramp, great place to go kayaking, and you might possibly see eagles or maybe an alligator.
This is the camp spot in Eagle Lake. And there's a little pond right here. Okay, we're gonna walk past this campsite. There's a little building over here at the end and it's got a box where you should be able to get a permit. The permit box that was at the gate where you enter here was empty. So I'm gonna walk over and just see if there's one here. Now we passed the first campsite that you'll see coming up in here and it had a gate closed so you couldn't access that road this area is prone to flooding uh, around here they even flood it for the hunters duck hunting waterfowl and migratory birds use this area there's a lot of eagles and stuff like that in this area um, and a lot of the roads can actually flood. So some roads may be gated shut if they're flooded and uh, they'll keep a eye on the roads and before they open them up, they check the roads out and all that, make sure they're safe. So you, on this route, uh, the only thing we know about this area is what I've researched and seen on satellite. So we could run into some closed roads or they may all be open, but when you come and do this overland route, there's a chance that some of these roads could be flooded and closed. So, uh, you know, as long as you have something like Onyx and you have your offline maps downloaded, you should not have a problem rerouting and finding another option. Okay, this is a self-cleaning deer harvest check station so that's not uh what i thought it was come here Remy. we did see a snake crossing the road i actually think she saw a great big one in the swamp as we passed it as you can see there's tent camping you just find you a spot and set your tent up we're gonna grab some snacks and then we're gonna head on down the road because this section is going to be a loop. Uh, by the time we get done, hopefully it's going to make the shape of a hawk. I'm gonna call this Trailhawk Loop, part of the new Arkansas Overland Route, but we still have to see how the roads go. And we will talk to y'all later.